Yeah, back when, like back in like 2001, 2002, mm -hmm. there were two versions of this game. Ugh. Damn it. I'd never even heard of it before. And it sounds absolutely hilarious. <laughs> well, cell damage is a. Uh... They're what? Um, cell damage is a um, kind of a cartoony mock, mm -hmm. like a cartoony kids mock version of uh, Twisted Metal. If you've ever heard of that game. Yeah, I remember Twisted Metal. It's 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 exactly like that, but like car cartoony and like kids fr kid friendly, and well, not not exactly kid friendly, more like young teen friendly, but. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. More like teens who know what the fuck is wrong with the world. Yeah. But you know, the ones that are determined that life is hopeless. Yeah. But <laughs> um. But it's uh. But it's just nothing but a giant cartoon. Mhm. Mm with you know robotic hands coming out of the vehicles and gra grabbing weapons and just. Killing everyone else with them, you know. Now there's two versions of this game. One called Cell Damage and one called Cell Damage Overdrive. Cell Damage Overdrive was a PAL version. Mm -hmm. You know, from Europe. Yeah. So we never got the taste of that until Cell Damage HD came out not too long ago for Xbox One and PS4. Because that's pretty much what it is. Each car comes, each, each character has their own car, and you drive around and you pick up weapons from, you know, and it's very cartoony. Blah, 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 blah. But it could be action filled, you know. Um, the thing is, everybody's got health, and you gotta beat each other up with these weapons until, you know, each of them die off and respawn and die off and respawn until, until you get a number of, they say, smacks. Okay. So basically what it is, is kind of like exactly like Twisted Metal, everything is like a giant competition. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but this is what I grew up with. And Twisted Metal is not even to my taste even today, you know. Because it's just what I've heard from what I've heard from like John, you know, because he's played it. I'm like, God, that, that game sounds incredibly disgusting. <laughs> oh, it is. But I just, um, I'm, I'm currently playing the PAL version on the PlayStation 2 emulator. And I kind of like it. I mean, I, I really like it, you know. But there's no way to get everything unless by uh, unless by unlocking. Thankfully, though, on the, the unlock system in this version is a lot. How do you say? Or uh, well, let's just say less demanding. It's more reasonable, you know. Sorry, I'm over here hacking my lungs up, man. No, it's fine. I mean, let me know at any time when you want to stop hearing me. No, 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 I don't mind. No, no, Billy, you're fine, man. But, um... Because, like, in the game... In the BL, because the BAL version comes with more stuff. Like, more weapons and more levels. Mm -hmm. Which sucks. One I grew up with, the GameCube version, didn't. But the GameCube version is what I grew up with, you know, I'm just used to its gameplay. Because its gameplay is completely different from the PA version. The PAL version, you beat each other until you get enough points, right? Just wherever you get enough point. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Well, each weapon can harm you. 
but not one weapon can destroy you outright. Unless you're really low on health, right? Yeah. And basically what that does is it takes a complete... It It's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors type situation, right? Yeah. Just with a bunch of random weapons. But, and, 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 and that's fine and all. I like the different change in the gameplay. But what I'm used to is the way I played it on the GameCube back when I was a kid. Yeah. Back when, you know, pretty much every weapon was an instant. Which, you know, I mean, not every weapon was an instant kill. I mean, there was the baseball bats and boxing gloves, which didn't do much but punt you around everywhere. It still racked you up points. But if you got an axe, a chainsaw, or a chain gun, you're dead. Some of the weapons found in the game just outright disgustingly overpowered. The thing is, the GameCube version has cheats. They can put in to get everything, which thank God, because there's like, because okay, when you start the game, there's six characters you can choose from. Okay. There's four bosses. There's four themes. Each theme has three levels. You have to, and there's three and there's three game modes. Let's just say, in order to unlock one boss, you have to um, you have to complete every level from that chosen theme on every game mode with every character. Oh fuck that! <laughs> yeah. Jesus. On on the GameCube version alone, and in essence, not even half of it. Each character has their own personal weapon, right? Yeah. And in order to get that weapon for everybody else to use, you have to complete everything with that character. Fuck that. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'd rather just use the cheat code that gave me everything and just... That, that, it. that's fucking hard mode on hard. Yeah. Especially considering, well... The thing is, I'm seeing differences between the two games. Like the PL version, you know... game modes is gate rally and flag rally. Now, they're both a pain in the ass. Oh god, yeah. Because gate rally you have to race. Because who likes racing? A person. Meh. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Yeah. Yeah, I just say, you, you, yeah, I, you throw I, weapons in the mix, and it's no fun. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's an over-glorified Mario Kart. Pretty much. Pretty much. But I think Flag Rally is the worst, especially on the GameCube. Because with Flag Rally, at least on Flag Rally and the BAL version, you, I mean, there may be only four flags at one time, but you can pick them up one at a time and rack up ten points. Nice. But if you take in four at once, you win instantly. The thing is, these flags run around on legs, and you have to catch them, and everyone else is trying to catch them too, and, and yeah. In the GameCube version, God. There, there can be twice as many flags, twice as fast, twice as available, and oh my god, you have to have four flags to win. There's no ifs or hands or buts about it. And being an instant kill game, good luck. That's all I have to say. But. I like both versions for what they are, because, I mean, I like a BL version a little better because it's got more to offer, but Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm so used to the way I used to play, because this is so sluggish and slow, then I haven't played it hard yet, so. Yeah. Um, I'd actually probably play that, just because. <laughs> I recommend trying it on the, uh, 
Dolphin emulator. I've never played. I've never had that one before. Is that any good? The Dolphin emulator is actually pretty nice. It's what? It's, uh, it's uh, well, the Dolphin emulator. Dolphin is the code name for the original code name for the GameCube. Hmm. The co Dolphin emulator can play all GameCube and Wii games. Nice. On the computer. But, uh, I mean, you know, these, these games I'm into, they're not for everyone, but at the same time, it's like, if you got enough people playing it, or whatever, or you got, you got someone who's interested in it, can't go wrong. The GameCube was my life, man, when I was a kid. That's like all I fucking played until I got my Xbox. I had a, play, had a PS1. I never had a PS1. Really? Yeah. The only PlayStation I've ever owned, aside from my sister's PSP, which was broke, which I couldn't really use anyway, was the PS2. And I hardly even played that. I'm just not. I'll just be honest. I'm not a PlayStation guy. I love the look of the controller. Maybe even the feel of it. Maybe not for every game, but... Like, it's all good, man. I am no place to go. <laughs> Everybody has their own choices, dude. I mean, preferences and shit. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> there's, no, there's, there's no, like, hardcore... reason to get a PlayStation, even now. You know? I mean, people are like, Oh, PlayStation's where's all that? You know? It's like, the, the titles! Look at the titles! I'm like, I don't care about any of the fucking titles. <laughs> That's they what, just don't do it for you. That's what sells it, you know? Morning, Even morning, Xbox morning. is not that much anymore. You know, everything's going on the PC. Star Wars Battlefront's kind of dead. And yeah, no, the, the, Halo, that game died hardcore. Halo is being murdered. Yeah. And as much as I'd hate to admit it, I'm never going to get another Xbox unless I really want one. But there's, there's no, like, saving up for it anytime soon. No, no. So, so, I, I wouldn't go out and buy one either, dude, honestly. I sold all my systems. All I have my That's all I have. And you know, at one time I had like 20 systems. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I wasn't playing like three, four of them. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not playing these. I'm like, I mean, obviously, Nick and Vinny and all of them are going to go play Pokemon when it comes on the 2DS, but I don't even care about that right now. Yeah. It, it takes a lot for me to even get interested in that, honestly, really. Yeah. Uh, I, I understand. It's just not my thing. No, we all have preferences, and you, you're... Well... You're kind of a... One shot, kind of. The game has got one. Yeah. It's got one opportunity to make me like it. If I don't like that, I'm not gonna play it anymore. <laughs> Which is fine. You know, a lot of people are like that. But true gamers stick with gaming. You know, and it's like, you know, you know I mean, if you yeah. find a game you like, you stick with it. You know, it's, it's not like you know, you play like three games and it's like, well, this is all there's to it. You know, a lot of people be like, be like, oh, three DVDs, that's all I can watch? It's fuck movies, you know? But true gamers, it's like, an experience all around. You know? That's the thing about games, is gives more... Yeah. More opportunity for, like, entertainment than, like, movies can. You know? Music, even. Well, see, yeah, for yeah. me, it's like World of Warships. He hit me right in the first go, and I've loved it ever since. And that's why I, I can still play it to this day. I, don't get me wrong, I get pissed off at it. But oh, I can yeah. still play it any day. Yeah. 